Hello, Mike. Hello, Richard. How are you? Hello, John. And how are you? Working? Really? That's good. What are you doing? A play? Oh, very nice. See you. Have a nice day. Bastard. Couldn't act his way out of a paper bag, the slag. Still, I'll show them. The ones out there, the ones in the chairs, the ones who say, thank you, I'll let you know, my dear. They haven't the guts to come out here. Hello, darling. You're lovely. You really are. I think our fate's designed in the stars. You're divine. Yes, I do take this woman to be really mine. Get the kettle on, love. It's nearly nine. Hello, Ma. Hello, Pa. This is going just great. Just watch this face. So why can't they get you a commercial or two? Sorry, Ma. That's not what I have in view. That's not for me. That's for the others, not men of quality. I saw you last week on the TV playing an astronaut but couldn't see your face. I rang Auntie Betty. My son's on TV! She raced for them. But when she got there, you were off the air. Ta-da, Ma! Ta-da, Pa! Yes, darling. I'm as happy as... How can you doubt? I haven't kissed you in weeks. Well, sometimes you forget. Stop nagging. I'm trying to work on my text. If I don't work soon, I don't exist. That's a feeling these days. That's beginning to persist. Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm glad to hear you're pulling through. Glad to hear that all your efforts are beginning to bear fruit. Is that the word? Hello, man. How are you? Working? Directing? For TV? Oh, that's cool. Well, don't forget me. <laughs> Your old chum from school. Now, how did he, he flogged his ass, succeed the weed, join the club, all rub shoulders in the bar, the ones who can't do it, the ones in chairs, the ones who say, thank you, I'll let you know, my dear. Hello, darling. I'm home. Yeah, had a nice day. Walked the streets, sat in cafes. Get a job! I'm an actor, you bitch. I've got to be free. I've got to be fit for the time when someone says, you're it. No one phoned. You sure? You were all day at home? Here is a piece which describes the journey of a man through his life. So one is trying to condense the period of his life into a short piece called The Actor, of which this is a small excerpt. In order to do that, I had the idea which was taken from an exercise by Marcel Marceau called The Walking on the Spot. Very familiar, as you've all seen, from every mime, every street artist, in every city. And he's walking. And as Marceau walked, he saw people passing by him on either side. And it was funny because he saw big people he shook hands with and little people and he was able to create his universe. So I had the idea when writing the actor that the actor is going through his life without a stop, that it's almost an inescapable conclusion that this particular actor will get nowhere but he will keep going through his life, people passing him, until he reaches his demise. He will lose the women that he got married to, his parents, his little mother, getting smaller as he goes through the piece until she is practically shriveled. And then the father, who for this particular actor was, in a sense, the critic, as many fathers are, of their children becoming actors. And so the father is seen, hello, Dad, as the big threatening person, and the mother, gentle, diminutive, caring, fragile. He's a smaller person. 
So then by using the technique symbolically, just the walking, I was able to create the idea of the man going through his life, which wouldn't really have been possible in another way.